ability to... So this is just straight four time. These are triplets. And then spacing, uh, string spacing, um, do you notice any difference between that instrument with a more acoustic style spacing versus doing that technique on a more standard yeah, space? I, I've always loved a wider neck. I don't understand why uh, the electric guitar manufacturers don't make wider necks. They're stuck. Because um, basically every pickup and every bridge is based off of a spacing that Leo Fender came up with. And I've been any guitar teacher I speak with, I always ask, um, is there, what spacing do you think is most advantageous to learning? And most of them say, say an acoustic spacing, inch and three quarter nut, and you know, two and a quarter, two and five sixteenths of the saddle. So it, to me it allows for um, substantially more articulation. The advantage of the closer spacing is really only certain specific leads will work off that. And then the other part that drives the market now, too, are baby boomers. Um, baby boomers spend tons and tons of money on the guitar that they dreamed of, the guitars that you know, you've played over the years. Um, so that's the, the holy grail, whereas um, the consideration to whether or not the instrument is actually um, more diverse or easier to play doesn't really enter the picture for them. Mm -hmm. It's just... Especially, uh, uh, yeah, it's just nice to have more real estate. You, you can be so, so much more precise with your playing. And just for fun, uh, the side markers on there are glow in the dark. Oh, that's cool. One of my ideas is to have a a lens here okay. uh, with a real short throw so that it focuses in a very short area. And at, at the end of that uh, throw, you've got uh, uh, fiber optic lead ends. Uh -huh. And so any light that comes in through that lens comes down through the fiber optics, which end here. Okay. Yeah. So a passive light position marker setup. Yeah, they, there's so many manufacturers an LED system that goes in there. Um, however, you have to, before you install the fingerboard, you have to make little wire routes in there. It's you know, quite a, a contraption to install, and it, and it can only be installed on a handmade instrument. You can't install it aftermarket. Well, the guy that I'm going to be meeting with here in a few min minutes, Andres, you know him? Andres Breit? I don't think. Oh, okay. Uh, he's we're we're uh, developing a guitar together. That's going to be uh, well. It's going to have a bunch of titanium in it. It's going to have a carbon fiber body, and it's going to have uh, a built-in speakers and uh, okay. effects and everything. Really uh, fantastic instrument. 